Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to design an IA diagram for a video rental company. We have to model an IA diagram based on the scenario mentioned here. In order to design an IA diagram, we should identify entities, attributes and the relationship between the entities. An entity is an object that exist in the real world about which we store data and it should be distinguishable from other objects. Attributes are properties of the entities. A relationship represents some association among entities. As a general guideline, nouns are candidates for entities and verb phrases are candidates for relationship. Let us go through each sentence one by one. The video rental company has several branches throughout the USA. As we are not storing any property of the video rental company, we shall not include it in our ER diagram. Branch can be taken as an entity. The data held on each branch is the branch address made up of street, city, state and zip code and the telephone number. Branch address and the telephone number are the properties of the branch. So, branch address and telephone number are attributes of entity branch. Branch address is made up of street, city, state and zip code. That is, branch address is a composite attribute that can be further divided into street, city, state and zip code. Each branch is given a branch number which is unique throughout the company. Branch number is an attribute of branch. Since it is unique, it can be set as a primary key for branch. Each branch is allocated staff, which includes a manager. Staff is another entity. Since manager is also a staff, we need to keep only one entity that is staff. Each branch is allocated staff. That is, there is a relationship between branch and staff. We shall name the relationship as branch has staff. The manager is responsible for the day-to-day -day running of a given branch. That is, there is one more relationship between staff and branch. We shall name the relationship as manager manages branch. The data held on a member of staff is his or her name, position and salary. Name, position and salary are attributes of the entity staff. Each member of staff is given a staff number which is unique throughout the company. Staff number is an attribute of entity staff. Since staff number is unique, it is the primary key for the staff. Each branch has a stock of videos. Hence, video is an entity. Branch has a stock of videos. Branch and video has some association. That is, branch has stock of videos. The data held on a video is the catalog number, video number, title, category, daily rental cost, status and the names of the main actors and directors. Catalog number, video number, title, category, daily rental cost, status and name of actors and directors are attributes of video. Since there can be more than one actor and one director for a video, they are multi-valued attributes. The catalog number uniquely identifies each video. That is, catalog number is the primary key for video. However, in most cases, there are several copies of each video at a branch and the individual copies are identified using the video number. Hence, video copy is an entity. Copies are identified using the video video number. Hence, video number is an attribute of copy. So, we remove the video number from video and add it as an attribute of copy. Since copies are identified using the video number, it is the primary key of the copy. Copies of each video. Hence, there is a relation between video and video copy. Video has video copies. Several copies of each video at a branch. That is, video is a general concept. Actually, branch is keeping copies of videos. So, instead of keeping relationship between branch and video, we keep the relationship between branch and video copy. Branch has stock of video copies. A video is given a category such as action, adult, children, drama, horror or science fi. We have already added category as the attribute of entity video. Action, adult, children, drama, horror or science fi are all values of the attribute category. The status indicate whether a specific copy of a video is available for rent. Hence, status is an attribute of copy instead of video. Before hiring a video from the company, a customer must first register as a member of a local branch. Here, customer is is an entity. Customer must first register as a member of a local branch. Hence, there is a relationship between customer and branch.
branch customer registers as a member of a branch the data held on a member is the first and last name address and the date that the member registered at the branch first name last name and address are the attributes of the entity customer the data held on a member is the first and last name address and the date that the member registered at the branch first name last name and address are the attributes of the entity customer date is the attribute of the relationship between the customer and the branch because it is the date on which the customer registers as a member of a particular branch each member is given a number which is unique throughout the branches of the company hence member number is the primary key of the entity customer once registered a member is free to rent videos up to a maximum of 10 at any one time. Hence, there is an association between customer and video copy as the customer is taking individual copy of the video. The data held on each video rented is the rental number, the full name and the number of the member, the video number, title and daily rental cost and the date the video is rented out and returned. The rental number is unique throughout the company. A rental number is an attribute of rent. Since it is a unique, we can make the relationship rent as a separate entity. I am giving the name rental agreement for the entity. Rental number is the primary key for the entity. Now, we have a relationship between customer and rental agreement, also between rental agreement and video copy. Full name and number of member are attributes of customer. Video number is the attribute of copy. Title and daily rental cost are attribute of video. Date rented out and date returned are attributes of rental agreement. Here is our solution. Now let us map the cardinality. Video has many copies but a copy is associated with only one video. Branch has several copies of video but a copy is associated with only one branch. A branch has many stuff but one stuff works for only one branch. A branch has only one manager and a manager manages only one branch. A branch has many customers but a customer registered with only one branch. A customer can place multiple rental agreement but a rental agreement is associated with only one customer. A rental agreement is for only one copy and a copy is associated with multiple rental agreements. This is our final solution.